Welcome to today's immigration tidbit on E2s. So what is an E2, you ask? An E2 is a visa that somebody who comes from a country that has a treaty with the United States uh, can come here and start their own business. It, it's the investment visa. That's that's plain and simple. That's what it is. Um, but first, let me just clarify. A lot of people think that they have to have a million dollars, or now it's a million eight hundred thousand, to invest on the E two in order to make it happen. And that is not the case. This is not the EB five. Okay, for the green card, it's not that. This is the E two. And it is a non-immigrant visa, which means you don't get the green card. But it can be renewed over and over and over until the end of time or until you die. Um, it, it, it has no limit on it. So it's a really nice visa uh, for being able to invest a reasonable amount that's not, you know, overly uh, expensive, depending where you're from and being able to be an entrepreneur and start your own business. So I normally tell people that it's around a hundred thousand US dollars in which to be able to invest in your own business. Now it is certainly doable and it is certainly possible to do a smaller investment. In fact, uh, I've done E2s in the past with as little as $20,000. Now, let me just tell you, those are not usual. The less you invest, the harder it is to get approved. So that's why I like using the ballpark figure uh, that, you know, is around fifty to 100000 more in the neighborhood of 100000 uh, to be able to invest. So first things first, with the E2, you have to be able to be from a country that has a treaty with the United States. Now, if it doesn't have a treaty, then you're not going to be able to do the E2, okay? Uh, so, for example, if you are a Chinese citizen, there's no E2 treaty. However, if you are from Taiwan, there is. Uh, likewise, another example, if you're from uh, India, there's no E2 treaty. But if you're from Pakistan, there is. So once you determine that, in fact, the E2 is available for you, then you have to determine if you have sufficient money in which to properly invest in a business here in the U.S. And it has to be a real business. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times people will say, well, what if I buy a house for me there and then work out of the garage? That, that, that doesn't work. You need to have a real business that there's a risk of loss uh, and that uh, sells goods or services. While it is possible to have some kind of consulting business, it is quite difficult to show the amount of investment that you need in order to make that happen, okay? So uh, if, if you're going to, you know, buy a restaurant, if you're going to, uh, you know, have a dance studio, uh, buy a curio shop, whatever it is, that th those are great investments. Um, if you're going to invest in real estate and flip the houses and manage them in order to uh, go forward, those are good. Um, things like that. But if like, let's say you're an engineer and you're just going to consult, well, what are you going to invest in? It's difficult to be able to invest $100,000 if you're just going to use your head and, uh, you know, call on the telephone or physically go there in order to uh, give your, you know, expert opinion about something. If you've already invested where you are, like, let's say, for example, you're a truck driver. And let's say you want to come to the U.S. Well, let's say you own your truck. And if your truck is, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, that's part of the investment right there. So instead of, let's, let's say we use the ballpark figure of 75000 and your truck is worth 
35,000. Well, that means you only need to come up with another 40, okay? Um, and some of that can actually be capitalization for the company, meaning that you can actually use uh, part of the money to put in the bank to show that you will eventually be paying employees and so forth. And a, a note on that, some people think that future paying employees is part of the investment, and that, that's not. You can't do that. The only thing for the future, really, that you can invest in now um, would be rent. So let's say you get an office and you prepay the rent for five years or four years or whatever, or even a year. You can use all of that as investment for the company. Okay, so this particular video is concentrated more on the monetary part of the E2 and some other peripheral matters. Um, but definitely, if you have the funds to invest in a new business or to buy a business that is already in operation uh, and you do come from a treaty country, this is the visa for you. Okay?